the, it, in high buildings, you can't use fire bells. It just doesn't make any sense. So you use audio, you use uh, a technology that's been around for a while. Uh, speakers for, are your output devices instead of horns. Now we're gonna look at the difference between a speaker and a horn, electrically and physically, because there's a lot of electricians and technicians that are mixing the two. And they, trust me, they don't mix. It's like putting a, a bicycle tire on a truck. Just doesn't work. A lot of problems. So the reason why you want audio in a high building is because you want to have the ability to give out emergency instructions with a microphone. You also want to have the ability to send out different tones to different areas. Like in digital audio, for instance, you can send out six channels on one pair of wires. And we'll get into that. I mean, we're going we're gonna to get pretty deep into this. So, But the main thing is that if, you under, if you're familiar with a speaker and how it works and how to troubleshoot it, also how, it doesn't hurt to know how an amplifier works, whether it's digital or analog, then you're better prepared to work on this equipment. So let's go to the whiteboard and take a look at the difference between a horn and a speaker. The difference between a horn and a strobe. A horn is 24 volts DC in alarm. When it's not an alarm, this becomes minus. So not an alarm, it's about 20 volts. Minus 20 volts. Blocking diode only activates when it's an alarm. That's why you don't hear the horns when it's not an alarm, because that is a minus. The blocking diode stops it. Sometimes you can see that blocking diode on the meter. If you know what you're doing with your meter, you can see the blocking diode on your meter if you're troubleshooting a zone. If you happen to get it wrong, say you have 10 devices and one of them is backwards, you may, if it's a mini horn, you will hear it when it's not in alarm. It'll go beep. If it's a bell or a regular full-size horn, all you do is you reverse the polarity, put it into alarm. The one that's ringing is the one that's reversed. You, re you reverse it out in the field, all four terminals, and then you try it again. The second time you do it, you put it in, you put them back to normal, plus is plus, minus, minus. You put them all back, go into alarm, they should all ring. If any of them don't ring, that's the one that's reversed. Speaker on the other hand is 70 volts. AC in alarm, now that's RMS. RMS is a way of quantifying what you actually have. When it's 70 volts, it could actually be 100, in, about 100 volts, because 70.7 .7 volts is 100 volts peak. Because it's a waveform, 70 volts is right about here. Peaks at 100 approximately, based on a sinusoidal waveform. None of that you need to know, really. But it's good to know because your meter might show something other than 70 volts, but it'll be probably between 50 and 80. And I've done it with, it depends on your meter, whether it's an RMS meter or a regular meter, it'll show something that's not exactly 70 volts because when you're talking, it's modulating. So it's not gonna be exactly 70 volts on a meter. It's gonna be close. So inside of the speaker, they'll call it plus and minus, but it's AC, it's not really plus and minus. The only reason why they do it is because a good audio practice is that if this is the plus and that's the minus, and they're all the same, the speakers will be in phase, meaning that 
you know how the speakers have movements, it's a voice coil based on sound pressure. You want them all moving at the same in sync. You don't want them moving like this. That's just an audio practice from when you had a home stereo. Home stereo differs from this because a home stereo is going to be 8 ohms. Car stereo is going to be 4 ohms. This is nothing like that. You can't do that in fire alarm. Because if you had 10 speakers, it would be, what, 0.4 ohms or 0.8 ohms. It would be a short. So you have to have a couple things. You have to have a coupling cap, which comes with it. And you have to have a, tra a matching transformer. So right here, there'll be a matching transformer so that you can match the watts. In other words, you can have an eighth of a watt, quarter watt, right up to two watts. Some of them, I think, go up to five. Right, because in a small room, you only want an eighth of a watt. But in a larger room, you want one watt, two watt. You have to have audibility. That's the main difference. This is driven from an amplifier. The amplifiers are always on, always. And they have big batteries. They're always on except for when it's the AC's off. If the AC's off, the, bat the, the batteries don't take over, but they will on alarm. The amps are always turned on because the amps are always running a tone through them so that they can make sure that there's always gain. They're, the amplifiers always work. That's how they supervise them. They put like a, um, I know on Edwards they did a 22 kilohertz tone that you can't hear, only the dogs can hear that. And they would check it at, they inject what 22 kilohertz, they get it out the other end, then they knew the amplifier was fine. If they didn't get anything out the other end, it would have to switch to a backup amplifier. This is not during alarm, this is during all the time, 24 hours a day, your amplifier's on. That's why they get so hot. And they draw a lot of power. What else? That's pretty much it. Sometimes they'll put a horn in a, where you're supposed to put a speaker. And the horn will cause a short circuit because it's, it's a mismatch. It's an impedance. Impedance is Z, by the way. And it's a mismatch. So this might be on a on a 70 volt system. This would show up as like 10 ohms. Whereas this might show up as 100 ohms or thousand. Um, let's say 500 ohms. Whatever. This will short out the amp then the amp will go into backup and it'll short out that amp. And what does that mean? It means that nobody hears anything because of this guy. Some, so some electrician or technician said, oh, let's put in a new horn because it looks like a horn. It's not a horn, it's a speaker. They take out the old one, they put in a horn, they, they ring it for one second and it goes beep and they think it works. It's not working, it's burning out. Within two seconds, three seconds, the amplifier is done. Goes into shutdown. So it never works. Really. And nobody hears nothing. I heard that. So that's the difference. anybody's arm to come to my page but um yeah uh and thank you I appreciate it but guys it's no joke you have no idea how passionate the anti-circumcision people are they are as passionate as the breastfeeding lobby was way back when do you know and this might shock some of you 
But there was actually a time in this country where women breastfeeding, that was actually frowned upon.